So, good news guys. Heavy Metal and the Animatrix had a baby. And that baby's name was Love, Death, and Robots. Here's the trailer. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What the heck is that? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Love, Death, and Robots is a new uh, animated short series that just premiered on Netflix a couple of days ago. And it's brought to you by American director and animator Tim Miller, who uh, the best I can tell you from was from uh, Deadpool. He directed the first Deadpool. And from David Fincher, who uh, you might know much more well known because he did such classics as Fight Club, Seven, Alien 3. So uh, yeah, this is a new animated anthology series with a super adult edge. Uh, definitely no kids allowed here. Um, 18 episodes for yeah, season one. No episode going over 15 minutes, so uh, it's a quick watch. Uh, I had no idea, I had heard no hype about this show, so uh, when it came on, I was just like, what the heck is this? And uh, I checked it out, and from the very first episode, ooh, I wasn't ready. Robot sex, uh, monsters, space, oh, it, the story was so good that first episode, got me hooked. Uh, so yeah, that is how my introduction to Love and Robots was. I just was randomly checking out Netflix to see if anything new had come out because I'm always doing that. And boom, there it was. Checked it out. First episode blew my mind. Watched it in two days. Whew. So uh, the animation style varies. I mean, there's some really amazing computer graphic animation that you get to see in there that's like Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within, but taken to level 100. And then you get like classic cartoon styles, you get a Saturday morning 90s animation style, I would say. I mean, you get a, a huge variety of animation styles here, which I think is good to break up the monotony because uh, some of this animation is so complex and gorgeous, you'll just be like, what, what am I looking at here? Oh, some of the gore that is animated is better than the CGI that you're getting in Hollywood blockbusters today. and. Oh, oh gosh, you, you just got to see it for yourself. It's, it's incredible. Another bonus that I found coming into this was that it's an anthology series, and I am a sucker for anthology series. The stories never overstay their welcome. And uh, there's a huge variety of different stories and things going on, so it's always interesting and exciting every episode you get to. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth about the stories of each episode. There's 18 of them. Um, I'm not, that's just not something I'm going to do. I'm not trying to give you guys spoilers here. But I will give you guys some recommendations, some likes, and some dislikes. So uh, you can kind of see my tastes for personal favorites. And, you know, you can compare and maybe let me know in the comments if you check this out which ones you thought you liked and compared to what I thought. Um, you can definitely check out Beyond the Aquila Reef. That's the uh, first episode that's on there. Oh, it, it, it sets the tone for what's coming forward in the rest of the episodes. And uh, I'm really glad that's the first one I watched because it let me know that, holy crap, this is something different. This is something amazing. Uh, Suits is a good one. It's about some farmers that are protecting their crops from some kind of crazy, like, monster rift. I ain't gonna go too much more into that, but it's really good. Um, 
blind spot is about um, some thieves that are on a high-tech heist and they brought a rookie with them and they're all like cybered up and uh, it really has this Saturday morning cartoon feel to it with the uh, character work, character design, the animation. Uh, it's a really good nostalgic throwback with an adult edge. Uh, and then, speaking of edge, segue, uh, we have Sonny's Edge, which is my final recommendation for you guys, about a uh, crazy underground, like, monster fighter, and uh, what's going on with her, and, like, getting betrayed, and... Oh, it's, it's just crazy. It has an awesome twist. Um, 18 episodes, only two, I have to say I did not like. And those two were Ice Age, about uh, some, some kind of like mini-civilization growing in uh, this couple's icebox. Uh, that one actually has Topher Grace in it. Uh, but uh, I did not enjoy that one at all. It's kind of slow. Some of the stop motion that they got going on in there is impressive. I'm not trying to hate on that. I just found the episode to be kind of bland compared to what else was going on within the story. And the other one being Alternate Histories, which is like a multi... like It's like a do-it-yourself adventure um, of what would happen if uh, Hitler had died. And it goes through some parallel timelines, six of them. And uh, I just found it to be kind of like little kiddish. And uh, the jokes that they were leading to with the timelines, I, they just didn't click with me. And I just found myself finding that it, it wasn't needed. And there's something better could have been in its place. But that's, that's just me. And far be it from those two little negatives to detract you from watching this because it's freaking amazing. Anyway, guys, that was just like a quick little video about this new show that I watched, Love, Death, and Robots, and uh, I just had to make a video and tell you guys about it because I was just so blown away by it, and uh, I haven't seen too much uh, talk or anything about it so far as far as like online media presence, so I felt like I needed to make a video and let you guys know that this is something that you should definitely check out if you're a fan of amazing animation, uh, adult content that is smart, um, and just something different as far as an anthology television series. I guess that's kind of what it would be like. Anyways, thanks for checking this video out. If you like our content here at Fraud and Peach Productions, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit notifications so you know what's going on with us. Anyways, for Rotted Peach Productions, I'm Jimmy P, and we'll see you later.